In this video, we're gonna talk about the Toyota Corolla GR. Toyota Corolla GR has recently been released. And this car is super important for car enthusiasts first. And second, this car is gonna be super successful. And this is why. S-T-I. That's the main reason the Toyota Corolla GR is gonna be super successful because the Subaru WRX STI is no longer a thing. They have canned the STI and the current WRX is being more dumbed down, even though it has like a more modern chassis, more modern engine. It's still a Subaru WRX with minor updates. So with that said, the engine is probably still weak you know, for modification. Uh, they're using a CVT, which needs to be replaced probably every 20,000 miles. And they have the WRX six-speed manual transmission, which is also weak. So, you're gonna get that or get something more robust like the Toyota Corolla GR. See, the Toyota Corolla GR is based off of well not based off of is sharing the same drive chain and engine from the toyota yaris gr and that vehicle has shown its strength in racing so there's been tuning companies in other countries that has put has gotten their hands on the yaris gr and really put it through its paces and they've been able to achieve more than 400 horsepower on a completely stock long block on this 1.63 liter. Okay, 1.63 liter producing more than 400 to the wheels. And it's an all wheel drive vehicle. Okay, that is impressive. And one of the main reasons they're able to achieve that is because the block is strong. Like it uses low friction pistons and it uses forged crankshaft and rods also the uh, the block itself is pretty strong. It's pretty robust. You know, it's built to hold boost because you have only three cylinders pushing a vehicle and it's running a lot of boost to produce the kind of numbers that they're making with it. So the Yaris makes about 270 horsepower, but the Corolla is gonna make about 300 horsepower. So that's on par with the Civic Type R that's on par with the STI that, you know, the previous STI, cause they don't make them anymore. So, you know, that that is right where we want it to be at for the car enthusiasts. This car is gonna be successful because Subaru doesn't give us something that we want anymore. Ford doesn't give us something that we want anymore. Um, Mitsubishi doesn't give us something that we want anymore. Uh, Nissan doesn't give us something like in a compact, you know, of course they got the uh, the new Z But that is a different type of car like that car is turbocharged But it's not a hot hatch and it's rear wheel drive So me personally, I love hot hatches ever since I had my caliber SRT4 and got rid of it I've always had in the back of my mind um, of buying another hot hatch somehow you know um, the vehicle that I have had my eyes on for a few years now is the Focus RS now um, now that the Corolla is out you know it's got me rethinking like would that even be my choice for a hot hatch you know for my next vehicle because I do want to get a hot hatch but I'm not sure if I want to get a hot hatch if I move back to Florida <laughs> because Florida, it's all about high horsepower V8s, you know? I wanna be able to be competitive too. Um, however, uh, the Corolla has the recipe to be super successful in a category of cars that is dying. So all we have for all wheel drive turbo hot hatches in America is the Golf R. That's it, the Golf R. And then here comes Toyota at the perfect time because Subaru announced that they ain't making no STI, you know? And the WRX that we do have, even though it's a good driving car, 
for the enthusiasts, we want to push platforms. And we got to start off with something strong. And the WRS ain't strong. It's weak. Weak transmission, weak engine, you know. Um, I don't know about the drivetrain. I don't know too much about it. But all I know is anybody who has WRXs wish they had an STI because the STI has the drivetrain that can handle power. WRX does not have that setup where it can handle power. Now, the Toyota Corolla GR, since it shares the same drivetrain as the Yaris, it will have a strong engine and strong drivetrain. So, take that with you. And this was my coffee talk. God bless. Bye -bye.